Hello. In this video, we will examine how to create and edit global plot definitions. This fitting will be meshed with two laminates. The blue surfaces will be assigned a six ply base laminate. The corner pads of the fitting will be assigned a 10 ply laminate with two additional plies on the top and bottom. This model already has a 2D orthotropic material defined. It is a Torre 6K plain weave fabric carbon material. If I right click on layups in the model info pane, I can either select new to create a new layup or I can select global ply to define global plies. I'm going to select new layup. Let us create our 10 ply layup first. I can select a material, a thickness of 0 0.0086 inches, and an angle of 45 degrees for our first ply. Notice in the top left, it says global ply ID optional and the auto create box is checked. That means that as I create the first ply, it automatically creates a global ply to go along with it. These will be numbered in sequential order, beginning with an ID of one. So as I create the second ply at zero degrees, we get global ply two. And I can continue alternating 45, zero, 45. And now I want a 10 ply symmetric layup. So ply six will also be at 45 degrees and then zero, 45, zero, 45. I now have a 10 ply laminate with 10 global plies. And I can press okay and cancel. Now if I right click on layups in the model info pane again, and this time if I select global ply, we can see the 10 global plies that were created. I can highlight any of these plies and select edit ply. And at this point I can change the material, definition of the ply, the thickness of the ply, or the ply failure theory assigned. Okay to update, we didn't make any changes. I can also create a new ply or delete global plies. Now let's create our six ply base layup. This time we'll call it six ply layup and instead of defining ply by ply we can simply copy our ten ply layup and say OK and then we can highlight the first and second ply and the ninth and tenth ply and delete. And now we have a six ply layup with global ply IDs three through eight. This means that as the part is manufactured, global plies one and two will be laid down first in the corner pads, and then global plies three through eight would be full part plies, and then global plies nine and 10 would again be locally just in the corner pads of the fitting. At this point, we have defined our six ply and 10 ply layups with the proper global ply definitions. We're ready to mesh the part, continue building the model. In an upcoming video, we will show how to post process laminate results using global plies. And that is where the true usefulness of defining global plies comes into play. So you'll see that in an upcoming video. Thank you.